There she is. Here we go. Are you sure, you sure we don't get the Audi next to it instead? I've never yeah, seen I anything know. like, look at this. No way. Hi, I'm Eli from the YouTube channel Ignition Tube, and I just bought this here 341,000 mile BMW E46 M3. I'm, I'm like fully, fully stoked on this car. Uh, my initial reaction was definitely kind of one of, eh, I'm not sure if this is right for me, but ultimately I think this is gonna be a great learning opportunity, uh, uh, an opportunity to get out of my comfort zone, and hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. Now, if you're new to the channel because of this video, first of all, consider subscribing. But second, um, you may go to the comment section and see a bunch of angry people. And the reason for that is my previous cars consisted of this, 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 and this. Uh, as you can tell, I have a little bit of a history of uh, buying Volkswagens and Audis. Um, now, why did I buy this E46 M3? Uh, to be honest, it was kind of an impulse thing, um, but I've also wanted to expand my horizons a little bit. Um, and so uh, my coworker Jacob ended up posting this car in our work group chat. If you didn't know I work for FC Piero, that's why you see, you know, FC Piero branded stuff and you'll see us visiting FC Piero later in the video. Um, he sent this car in a group chat. One of his old bosses had posted the car uh, and I was like, wow, a, a one owner, 341,000 mile M3. That would be an interesting car for YouTube. So Jacob and my other coworker JR, uh, went over to the dealership, checked it out for me, gave me a, uh, a great bill of health, uh, and so I ended up putting a deposit down on the car. Now, I hadn't seen the car before, so uh, on Saturday, this past weekend, I went down to Connecticut with my buddy Tedward. We're taking my mom's car because Jenna has the S6 today, and I have a special passenger. It's Tedward and a lot of cash. Oh yeah, a lot of cash. Who knew this much cash could buy you an M3? Do people even know that you look like this? Not a single person. If you don't know Tedward, he has a fantastic YouTube channel. He's actually gone full time recently, so uh, you can go over and check out his channel. I'm sure there will be a POV drive coming on this car very soon. But anyway, we got down there and the first thing to do was to take the car for a test drive. I got the man, Dr. Z Krams in the car with me, Z Krams on YouTube. He's the E46 <laughs> guy. So I got him and JR here. They're both E46 experts. Um, I am like mixed bag on this car, honestly. Like I know I'm not gonna find a cleaner one. These guys both say I'm not gonna find a cleaner one. <laughs> Eli, don't turn the track. So actually the traction control button, the D D DSC, yep. if you press it once, it's all the way off. Okay. So don't I wouldn't mess with it right I'm now. I'm not gonna touch it. Because I know you don't know how to drive rear wheel drive cars. Unnecessary. He's not wrong. Unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary. This is my first real drive car. Um, I'm like mixed bag because the car is so clean, but it also has like so many things. But I, I think of all of these things, I guess, are technically content opportunities. So I'm excited. Like it, it's cool. It is a cool car, but I'm not 100% sold yet. We're going to take it for a drive, see what happens. So we went around the block again. I was really struggling to get a feel for the car. It's on some uh, Falcon tires from 2015, some all seasons. Like I said, it was raining um, and uh, it was very difficult to put the traction down. Now these cars don't make a lot of power, but these tires are just not great. Um, and so we, we struggled a little bit. I struggled to get the feel for the car. All right, what do you think? Now that you're right, looking here's, at it. Here's what I think. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is, this is who I am. Is it the perfect E46 M3? I don't no. think we expect it to be. No, we didn't expect it to be. You're right. Um, what it is, is it's an interesting opportunity to own a car that I otherwise wouldn't have bought, kind of like the RS4, a car that I wouldn't have bought, um, a car that I probably actually wouldn't even have considered buying, but Jacob sent in our work group chat. And I was like, wow, one owner, 341,000 mile car, like that is a story. And I want to continue that story. There's definitely a lot in the car that is left to do as far as uh, it needs the subframe reinforced. It needs, you know, certain bushings. It, it's not 100% perfect, but it drives nice down the highway. JR and I took it out on the highway. It feels good. The power delivery is there. No, it's not leaking. Um, like it's it's like the transmission feels good it doesn't grind in the third gear like my last impulse yep. buy did i would say this is much less impulsive than the rs4 i think this is a sound like honestly like i i wasn't coming into this thinking like i'm gonna tell you to buy this car i was just like i was here to basically veto if it was a really bad call but right we're going in the a, wrong direction now suddenly you're kind of wavering a little bit i'm so i'm wavering just because this is not like an Eli car, if that makes sense. At least right now, from, from what I know and from the cars that I've driven, this is not an Eli car. Um, and, and that is my internal struggle. 
um, because I want to do this car right, and I want to make sure whoever owns it is the right person to own it, and I'm not sure if I'm the right person to own it, but I know for a fact that I can do it right. I know for a fact that I can take care of it. Um, working at FCPR, obviously, I have access to a ton of parts and all that fun stuff. So. But in the shortest possible words, are you going to buy it right now? I, I guess we're going to buy it right now. <laughs> we're going to do it. Thank you to my wonderful mother for letting me borrow her car. The S6 was taken for the day. So we have a large sum of cash in a white envelope. There's so no, nice. nothing to see in here. Um, ooh, and uh, ooh, my boy brought cash. Brought cash and we're gonna do it. All right. We're doing it, Jade Roy. Why did I end up buying this car, you're asking yourself? Well, it's a unique opportunity to kind of grow my channel um, and also to learn things that I haven't learned before. I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, you know, it's, it's really something that I, I haven't explored yet. I've mostly explored Volkswagen Audi realms. Um, and while there's plenty more cars that I could buy made by Volkswagen Audi, I want to expand outside of that and uh, see what it felt like to own something different. Ooh. My man Noel hooked it up. We did it, Tom. I got the title. Show me these keys. Show me the fresh key. The key? Show me that fresh key. I don't even know where I put them. Just kidding. You bought a car, no keys? <laughs> All right, this is the this is the old one. Here we go. The oh. fresh BMW key right Show there. Show me the old one, because everyone, every BMW this the, owner. This is the used one. Hang on, I'm trying to get that in focus. Oh, you can tap it. Here we go. All right. Now this get... is the used one. This is the one that sat in the booklet for 3,400. 341,000, 341,000 miles. Jade Roy is so proud. Look at this man, he's so proud. Ah, he, did, he did the work, he got it done. The close up out. I'm giving you right now. Ooh, what's up ladies? JR looking you can't fresh. Say that I'm not single though. Woo! I'm just saying what's up. I'm just saying. Cutting that out. <laughs> just, <I'm> just, <laughs> just said what's up ladies to the camera like his girlfriend wasn't gonna watch this video. No, I said, I said I'm just saying hi. I'm all right, now that I'm a, sorry, just, oh yeah, now that I'm an M3 owner, I gotta uh, do the part. You know, this car has 341,000 miles on it, but um, the interior is actually, you know, I mean, some of the buttons are pretty worn. The turn signal looks like it's never been used. It's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and drive back to uh, FC Piero now. Uh, now, now, yeah, now, okay. No Look way. at what we just discovered. Oh so there's, shit, there's you got a, a hell of a deal. There's a broken I'm... aux cord on the ground, but we got the adapter and everything. That's some valuable Dude, shit. Dude, right that's on. big baller. All right, here we go. I forgot to take the shirt and the hat off, so apologies. I'm really excited about this, but I'm also genuinely nervous about this. Uh, mostly just because, like I know so many people that have worked on BMWs. I've never personally owned one, obviously. Um, and I haven't spent extended time in one other than Pound's E36. Um, so, like, do I know what to expect? Not really, um, but I'm, I'm excited. What excites me the most about cars and about buying cars, and this is gonna sound really nerdy, is like the research phase and the learning phase. And what I mean by the learning phase is the phase where like, you don't know everything about it. Like, you need to do some research. You have problems that you don't automatically know the solution to. Um, wow, the turn signal works great. The other thing that I have going for me specific to this car is I have so many friends. I have so many friends who know so much about these. Um, obviously, JR actually owns one. Kramer owns a ZHP. He used to have an E46. Um, there's just a, a lot of people in my world who really know what they're doing when it comes to these cars. If you're like, Eli, what the heck are you doing? Why are you buying this car? Um, the answer is, I'm trying something new, which is not something that people often do in the automotive world. But it's something fresh, it's something new, it's something to try. I'm, uh, I'm ready to embrace it, and I'm ready to learn, like I said. So uh, we're gonna head over to SVR, we're gonna get the car up on a lift, uh, and we're gonna start looking it over. This thing needs a deep clean, which is honestly one of my favorite things. And the RS4 came so clean that it didn't really need it. This car is in need of it. I'm very excited. So again, huge shout out to my man, Noel, over at All County Auto Sales. If you're looking for a car, he's in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, you can look him up online. He gets all sorts of interesting stuff in. Uh, and he himself has some interesting cars. So um, let's get back to FC Bureau. And once we got back to FC Bureau, I took the opportunity to throw the car up on a lift. Uh, and also go on a little bit of a parts hunt. 
Um, very exciting to pop through that warehouse and find things that I need uh, right there in stock. It is definitely a cool, cool place to work and a cool, cool place to be. Uh, anyway, what can you expect in the future from this car? Um, well, we have to go over the car. Like I said, we put it up on the lift. There's a couple other things that I want to highlight and show you guys as far as little dings and dents and imperfections. Um, the car is also uh, not very clean. Um, so there is a, a lot of steam cleaning, a lot of carpet cleaning, a lot of fun detailing content that we have to make on this car because there is, uh, there is a lot to clean up. But I think when it's done and it's all shined up and she's looking clean, um, you'll really be surprised the condition of this car for 341,000 miles. And then of course the modifications begin because uh, I can't leave anything stock. So if you're a BMW company or you own a BMW company or you have a company that you recommend me to work with, uh, leave a comment below or you can shoot me an email or as always message me on Instagram. It's at IgnitionTubeYT. I am more than excited. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button. Stay in the loop on what's coming up for this E46 M3. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. So today we're gonna to find out if this 342,000 mile E46 M3 has functional headlight washers. Let's go. Go for it.